All right, what's going on, man? So the kettlebell swing, it's confusing at first because you're not sure what to do. You know it's like a pulling movement. You know it's supposed to work your shoulders and like your hamstrings some. So the, the first thing I saw, it's like think when you're going to do a squat. So you need to have that curve in your back. You know, like you're going to, because that's what, a lot of your, all your momentum is coming from your hips. It's a hip hinge movement. So you're going to have it like your back's curved. So, because it's a pulling exercise. So, let me show real quick. So when you come up to get the kettlebell, this is a 50 pound. So, the 24, the 52.9. So, when you, when you, anytime you mess with a kettlebell, be careful when you lift it, even if you're, it's a lighter one. Always have that curve in your back, like when you lift something. So for example, when you're going to get the kettlebell, you want to have a little space from it, you get that good posture. Have your feet spread apart a little bit, you know, like you're going to do a squat. Because a lot of your momentum, it's a hip hinge movement, so when you're pulling, you're hinging right here. But all your momentum is coming, like when you're jumping, it's all generated from the hips. That's why it translates well into sport type activities you know it translates into jumping explosiveness uh i think you're a boxer i see you post videos of that so that that explosiveness that tension that relax and tense that relax and that tense same thing with a punch like you relax and then but so for here when you come out you get a good posture so when you're already right here you have that space between you and the kettlebell so when you lift up, it's already, you know, naturally, as soon as you lift up without having to put much force into it, it's already going to have momentum swinging back. And then by you, that's where all the force comes from. It's generated from the hips. That's why it translates into uh, athletics and uh, sport specific, a lot of sport activities. And it's a pulling, it's a pulling movement too. That's why it works your shoulders, your traps, your back, um, the whole posterior chain which is good for your posture because in today's society uh we're always slouched over you know on the phone computer video games on the couch so it's good for your posture so you got a little distance coming down right here And when you go to put the bell down, you put it down safely. The, a lot of injuries happen when you relax, like when at the end of the exercise. Because you're done, and then people relax, and they slouch. That's where a lot of people hurt their back. <clears throat> so the most important thing right now is just working on that. Because um, that's the bread and butter of everything. And it's the same if you do it with one hand. For instance, you have a little distance there. See, that's a safely to start it, and also when you end, right there. You don't have all that pressure on your back. You're not relaxing and slouching. You can hurt your back. But yeah, that's the biggest thing. Um, the beginner mistake, you know, that was it. Because there's, you know it's a pulling, it's a hip hinge exercise, but it's, it's a pulling exercise. Because it is pulling, but you're using your whole body. So when people know that it's a pulling exercise and they know, oh, okay, and it works your shoulders, they think all the force that you uh, use to get the kettlebell off the ground comes just from your upper body and your shoulders. Some people think, you know, because they're like, okay, um, it's a swinging, it's a pulling activity, and it works your shoulders. So I'm going to get all my force from my shoulders. No. All the force comes from your hips. Your shoulders, your forearms, everything, they're going to get done in, trust me. But all your force isn't coming from just that. 
is coming from your hips. So, hey, I hope that helped. Uh, I'm gonna make a video later on what exercises to do if you have a heavy kettlebell. You know, that's gonna be harder if you're not used to them to try to press and et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'm about to mow my lawn. Hope that helped.